Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Mountain Charm Cattle Farm. Today, we are getting ready to release our cows. Yay! So let's get to it. Hey, girls. It's almost time. Pixie, how excited are you to go out on the pasture and see some grass? These girls have been in the barn since Wednesday afternoon. They're ready to get out. Darla, any words? Any thoughts on your, what are you going to do first? Are you going to eat some grass? Are you just going to frolic? I don't feel like you're a frolicker. You could surprise me. Pixie, you might be a frolicker. I could see that. Fizz? Anything? Or are you excited? You're not even standing. Or do you like the barn? I guess we'll find out. Ava, I know you're excited. Ava escaped yesterday? Yesterday morning. She got a little taste of freedom. We had to corral her back in. I know she's ready to see some grass. What do you think, Ava? Yeah, that one doesn't open all the way. Come on, girls! You might have to push them out. Come on, girls, let's go! Come on, Ava. Come on, guys. How quick? Go! Go, go, go! You got it! Yay! Freedom! <laughs> yes! Woo! Don't run through the fences. Yep. Yep. So for the past four days, we've been keeping uh, the four heifers in the barn, just working on the fence because we wanted to redo this section so that we made it a little bit longer. It extends further down and then it'll act as like a winter holding pen. Uh, that way we can just bring everybody in and it'll be like a little exercise yard in the winter time. Give them some hay, that type of stuff. And then on the other side, we're turning that into a, a gigantic pasture. So we'll essentially have the front pasture. We'll have all the way down this meadow, which will be a big pasture. And then we're going to divide the top two pat or the top pasture into two pastures. So that give us four big pastures and like a little holding pen. And I almost forgot to introduce our other new member of the family, Miss Maggie. She's our Marema Sheepdog. Her task is to sit out here and guard these girls. She's been sitting out, she lives in the barn. So, but she has done so good. She just kind of hangs out with them at nighttime and been doing good. What do you think, Miss Max? What do you think, you little fluff ball? You little fluff ball? But it's been nice. We've been uh, we've been chomping at the bit to get them out here on some grass, and it finally has happened. And these two girls, or four girls, we weren't even going to get uh, originally. And then we just, me and Jen, were sitting down talking one night, and we were like, "Hey, let's just do this thing. Get some cows." So you got Miss Pixie right here. Got a little little blonde, little afro, little spunky. <laughs> Settle down, Pixie. Okay. Then the little one right here that just looked at us, that is Ava. She's the youngest of the four. And they all range between eight months and a year and a half. Got Miss Darla. She's the one with the, the long horns right here. She's the older of the four. And then this little done one right here i always forget her name fizzy what are you doing cows What's that puppy doing? Oh, 
we gotta get some water out here for them girls. We gotta bail this one out. That way we can dump it, clean it, and move it. Are you comfy? Are you comfy? Yeah. Through the window. Oh, the cows are here. Yeah, they came to see what was going on with the tub. Yeah. Well. You got it? Girls checking things out. Oh, you're trying to escape, are you? It's just the same clean rocks that we're throwing in, and I'm taking them out and throwing them in. Mom, I'm filming you filming us. <laughs> What? Where are you going? We gotta roll the hose up. I need your help. No, that's no. And now that that's all taken care of, we need to run and grab some hay. And then uh, when we come back, we've gotta clean the barn because the girls made a little bit of a mess. Yes, she did. You made a mess. Hold the fort down, Mags. You hold the fort down. All right, now we can go ahead and unload some hay. Just went and drove up and picked up 25 bales. And basically our goal is just with that, start prepping a little bit for winter time. Mostly all the cows are going to be eating grass right now. We'll have them just on the grass, but we've been starting to accumulate uh, for winter time based off of what we will have, uh, which will be, I think, what is it? Eight cows. So in the winter time, we're not going to have that much forage, or at least I don't think we will, because I'm, I'm not sure. We've again, never been here in West Virginia during winter time. So we don't know quite how bad it is, but we want to be prepared either way. So we picked up these 25 and then we're just gonna, we're waiting on another cutting. We've got a guy who's gonna deliver 400 bales um, and that should be within the next month or so. So we'll see how that goes. But for now, we're going to unload these and then we'll get this barn cleaned out. <laughs> I 
feel like we could have got this. I told one. you. <laughs> I said we're gonna dump it in and it's gonna go. Yeah. Well, we can stock up on some dog food when it's on sale. Right. Farmer Tim, Farmer Tim, Farmer Tim. Oh, Farmer Tim, Farmer Tim, Farmer Tim. Oh, 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 oh. I don't like it anymore. Yeah, I do. <laughs> At some point, I gotta get my toe strap on. Don't touch me. Oh, yeah, for With your two hands. <laughs> So when we first got the cows, we put down a bunch of pine shavings because we were like, oh yeah, this will absorb everything. Uh, you know, horse stalls, cows, figured it was about the same, but I think the cows, they pee, they pee a lot. And- uh, I think it smells stronger too, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's way more odory. But anyway, the, the shavings- They did do a great job of soaking it up, but they get super matted and super- Yeah, it's a mess. Down so we started using we have a couple bales of straw that we were using and that stuff it's so much easier to clean after the fact yeah. so i think that's what we're going to do now we'll leave what dry shavings are in here but we'll go ahead and spread out because we got that other bull calf coming thursday and then the cow calf pair on saturday, saturday. so we'll go ahead and prep for that type of stuff yeah. uh, just as we're cleaning the barn right now Pixie. Hi, Pixie. You want to be on camera? Come here. Come here, Pix. It's like, what y'all doing over there? Hi, girl. <laughs> you crazy humans. Hey, girl. I mean, I'm holding it out for you. It's not my fault you're not taking it. I thought he was not even take it. He was the only brave one. 
expecting. How are you doing, girls? Oh, we'll get you guys some grain in a little bit. Just a little snack. A little snickety snack. With that, I think we're going to wrap it up here tonight and uh, go ahead and let these ladies do their thing. But thank you so much for taking the time to hang out with us today. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, my name is Timothy. I look forward to seeing your beautiful face in the next one.